Hello and welcome to Channel 7 News. It's Tuesday the 3rd of April and I'm Jameson Yates in London. Asia is no stranger to conflict and turmoil. In recent years, the continent has seen fighting in the Philippines, India, Myanmar and Thailand. However, in recent months, the small country of Tajikistan has become a focal point of tension and concern for both its neighbours and the international community. For nearly 30 years of small conflict in the country has been smouldering. Now, that conflict has been inflamed, with devastating results for the people of that region. Our reporter Dale Mixon brings us a special report from Tajikistan. Tajikistan, a small, mountainous, landlocked country in Central Asia. Once just a small republic in the Soviet Union, the country gained independence in 1991. However, this has not been an easy road for it to go down. The scars of the last civil war can still be seen nearly 30 years later. However, there are new wounds, new injuries for the people of Tajikistan to endure. The tip, Turkestan, the Islamic party, has been fighting a simmering conflict in the region since the 1980s. The goals are simple, to establish a independent state called East Turkestan in modern day Tajikistan and West China. The conflict has caused mass displacements of people, with the UN Refugee Agency reporting nearly 10,000 people in the last month alone. Many people here have fled for their own lives. Talking to one of the displaced, Mahmoud says that he was forced to flee when the tip entered his village. چند شب بود مرتبا مهندس اتریشی که اخیرا به من معرفی شده بود در کافه سر میز ما می آمد. اغلب من با یکی دو نفر از رفقا نشسته بودیم. او می آمد. اجازه می خواست کنار میز ما می نشست و گاهی هم معنی لغات فارسی را از ما می پرسید. چون می خواست زبان فارسی را یاد بگیرد. از آنجایی که چندین زبان خارجه می دانست مخصوصا زبان ترکی را که ادعا می کرد از زبان مادری خودش بهتر بلد است. لذا یاد گرفتن فارسی برایش چندان دشوار نبود. ظاهرا مردی بود چهارشانه با قیافه جدی سر بزرگ و چشم های آبی تیره مثل اینکه رنگ رود footage taken at east of the part of the country shows the level of violence that the tip had will go to to achieve their goals. Their style is similar to ISIS, not surprising when it's reported that the two organizations support each other. There are foreign forces in the country, but not western ones as yet. The Russian government has stated its willingness to support Tajikistan, with detachments of Russian forces operating within the country already. Moscow, seeing the country as an important step in securing its old empire and trade links with China. The US is also becoming more concerned about the state of the country. The destabilizing effects that the ISIS-styled group can have is still fresh in the minds of those returning from Afghanistan and Iraq. However, with a tip increasing attacks both inside and outside of the country, and its links to fundamentalist Islam, there is growing concern that the small country in Asia might be the next flashpoint. Dale Mickerson, Channel 7 News, Tajikistan. Thank you, Dale, for that special report. The market ended today's trading down by more than 358 points. Our business correspondent, Walito Manford, has more on this story. So, Walito, what does this mean for the average consumer? 